On her path to Granny's, the little girl suddenly found herself in a very unusual part of the wood. Good day, young lady. Good day, Mr. Wolf. Whither away so hurriedly? To my grandmother's. And what might be in your basket? Some bread for grandmother. So she'll have something good to make her strong. And where might your grandmother live? A good quarter of a league further in the woods. Her house stands inside a great oak tree. Especially lush, delicious. Hello, little girl. What's your rush? You're missing all the flowers. The sun won't set for hours. Take your Mother time. Mother said straight ahead, not to delay or be misled. But slow, little girl. Hark and hush. The birds are singing sweetly. You'll miss the birds completely. You're traveling so fleetly. Grandmother first, then Miss Plump. What a delectable couple. Out of perfection, one brittle, one supple, one Mother moment, said, my dear. Come what may, follow the path and never stray. Just so, little girl, any path, so many worth exploring. Just one would be so boring. And look what you're ignoring. Think of those crisp, aging bones. Then something fresh on the palate. Think of that scrumptious carnality twice in one day. There's no possible way to describe what you feel when you're talking to your meal. For Granny. Mother said not to stray, still I suppose a small delay. Granny might like a fresh bouquet. Goodbye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, little girl. And hello. 